lady. Okay, that's... I need to back that up. Welcome back to The Varied Life, and we're going to do a test grid for the K10 laser engraver. Alrighty, we're taking a look at the K10 here, the little laser engraver that I ended up getting. And we got some good results with some of the settings, but as I found out this reference card, you do need to do your own test to get the most optimal results. Um, what, we're, what we have in there right now is some basswood, and we can see the the recommendations for the basswood. One over scan, intervals 0.05, 5,000 for speed, and power set at 50%. But the problem is we had some problems. And this is what I want to talk to you about. So this here on the bottom, these three things, is the test number one set at the default for from the reference card and we can see the, the results were very very thin let's kind of weak and that is the recommendation that is on on this card so uh some people had recommended doing a test grid and this is the cut lab x software it doesn't have a test grid already made up. So what I ended up doing is by going here on the left hand side you have the choice of making you know squares, circles, things like that, text, and then on the top you have the copy and the paste feature. So basically what I ended up doing is just drawing some things on here, making the grid, making the speed settings on the left hand side on the bottom is the power. Because 50% seemed to be pretty good. So we went from 50 or 40, 50, 60, and 70%. And then for speed, we have 2,000 and then 5,000. So with this, what we ended up doing is actually we went down here to the bottom and we loaded up a color. Uh, we, we actually made a, uh, basically what we ended up doing is just went over here to make a square and we assigned that a color and with that color over here on the right hand side what that allowed us to do was to set the individual parameters so for this color it's already set for 5,000 70 percent so that's that, that color right there so you only have so many colors down along the bottom that you can use so that's the reason for the grid that i have right there and I figured we can get some decent uh, test engraving, but for each one of these, you need to go through and do the settings for every single one of these. So if we look out here at the bottom, uh, we are, we're at a power of 40, which is what we have on the right, and it's set to 2000, and then we go up, its speed is 2500, power is at 40, you know, 3000, 3500, until we got our little grid. And then I ran out of colors down here at the bottom. So if you know how to add more colors so I can make a bigger matrix, that'd be kind of cool. But uh, yeah, I guess on bigger machines, doing these tests is a thing to get your materials dialed in. So that's what we're doing. And I've checked all of this and I think we're good. So what we're going to end up doing is we will send this over to our printer well, actually, what we should do is we're going to check the preview. And preview. Okay, so that's acceptable. Remember, it's an 80 by 80 area. We've already set the focused height, so we're good with that. We'll just go ahead and hit start. And send it wirelessly because we're hooked up to the K10. K10 little Wi-Fi, and it's going to start off on our little test grid that we have. So this should be interesting. And from watching other videos of higher-end uh, machines and uh, laser engravers, they all recommend doing the test grids. 
so since there wasn't one for the K10, I decided to make one, and yeah, we'll see how, how that ends up going. With each one of these, with each one of these, so like down here on the bottom right, we have the square, and if we look up here, it gets highlighted on this top side over here. And if you click this, what ends up happening is you have the choice of line fill or cross fill. So if you leave it in line, it's just going to draw the outline of the box. So you have to go through and make sure that that is clicked on fill for every single one of these and then make sure that you have different colors so that way you can do the different settings down here. Exception of the 50% or 3,500 by adding one too many zeros. With the exception of that little one right there, which actually what we could end up doing was at 3,000 at 3,500 at 50%. And then that will be in the place. So with that, let's put this back over here. actually kind of have this set up with the grid on here so we should get pretty damn close to fill in that one so let's go ahead and we'll hit preview that'll work out good Now, as that's engraving, a little admin note. Uh, if you could help me out, I would really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, The Buried Life. And if you really like this video, you can buy me a coffee by clicking the link in the description box down below. So with that being said, let's continue on with the test grid. But that's okay. And here... So now we got that 3,500 in there. A few moments later. So what we'll end up doing is we'll take a closer look. And I just so happen to have a couple of pictures. So the one that we have on the left is our 0 0.05 inch rule, which is what was recommended for basswood on the reference card. So we have the speed on the left side along the bottom, we have the power of going 40, 50, 60, and 70. And what we can end up seeing is that it's kind of like boxy looking at that 0 0.05. So, and matter of fact, even if we look down here, what you'll notice is it's almost like it's squared. So we see some of these settings, you know, like, 2000 and then that pretty much is the same thing all the way up we get that it's uneven it's not clean uh, it looks like a series of boxes or lines where they they overlay each other and yeah it just looks very very very, very different. And so that's the recommended setting at 0 0.05.
So to get the best out of both worlds, I decided to run a test at the interval of 0.02. And what we ended up seeing here is a lot better. Now, we definitely got some lines in there on the 40. As you can see, that line that just intersected right across there. But as soon and also on the, uh, the 50 watt, or the you know, power setting of 50, it's down over here. But when we get up to the 2500, then what we end up seeing is that goes away and we've got a more uniformed look on our engraving. And the same thing at 3500 and 3000, and the same thing at, you know, going all the way up into 5000. Of course, the 5000 is going to be, that's, that's kind of weak. But if we go back down here to the 60 and the 70, of course, these are way, way too charred. And again, remember, we're at 70% at of, of power on our little 5 watt K10. And as we move up, what we can end up seeing is that it gets a little bit better, a little bit better, and a little bit better. And then when we get up to the top, we see that this top one at 5,000, at 60% power, it kind of peters out a little bit, but then it kind of makes up for it over here, but we still have some lines. So really, what we end up with is a pretty good test showing the difference between the interval of 0 0.002 and 0 0.005. So this would definitely be a tool that could help you out as far as like how dark do you need to go. Uh, it definitely looks a lot better with the interval of 0 0.02. So I'm redoing the matrix, and so everything is going to be set in black. We'll print first, and then the next thing will be the blue, and then the red, and then the green. And so it's just going to go here, and then we'll start down here on the 50 and 2000. So yeah, the little OCD and the order, the order junkie that I am, uh, I wanted to fix this, and definitely I think this will be a lot better. For the material, I'm just going to go ahead and leave this with a blank line so you could write in there or put text. And then down here on the lower bottom where it says interval, I'll leave that as a line as well. So that way you could either put in text or you could write it in. So that way you could use this test grid or test matrix for multiple materials. Uh, you'll just have to go through and like click on the individual one and then go over here and set your speed, your engraving, your power, your interval. So really you could use this test matrix for basically any material. Um, you know, you might have to go through and change some stuff, but at least this is a hell of a lot better than the stock settings. It pays to do a test grid. Hopefully with this, this will make it a little bit easier for people to dial in their K10 with the different materials. And again, we're gonna post this on the Wayne Lux K10 website. Hopefully uh, they'll allow this, but if not, you can reach me at officialtheburiedlife at gmail.com and uh, I can send it to you in an email. So anyway, that's what we got going. Good stuff from the K10 and playing around with Cudlab X on the Mac. Okay, so that's gonna be it for today. Uh, take care and we will see you and the K10 on another video. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to stay up to date with what's going on with us. The Buried Life is where we retired in Korea. And we'll see you on the next video. Peace.